Oh, what the fuck? Welcome back to another video. Today we'll be continuing our AOT journey. I got my coffee here and you know with a good cup of coffee comes with a good episode reaction. I just pulled that out of my ass. That's not a saying at all. <laughs> now before we get into this week's video, if you enjoyed today's experience with me, you know, watch along here as friends, you know what I mean? Make sure you like and subscribe to the video and check out my other social media platforms where I post on a regular daily basis. I am your anime boy, BillyHan underscore, if you already know. B -b okay. Alright, you know. Also, if you guys, I don't know if you guys can tell, I did a little haircut today and dyed it. If you like it, let me know in the comments. If you don't, don't say anything mean. Without further ado, let's get into this week's Titan on Titan action real quick. Real. <laughs> Who's this baby? What a chubby hand. Bet it can feed a lot of people. I'm kidding. No. Don't tell me this is the founder. Wait, no, it's not the founder. Isn't this just Aaron? Wait. Oh, they were they're able to see everyone's previous memories. Aaron's mom is pretty hot. I gotta give it to him. That's why he's a hottie himself. No homo. No matter how much Yadaji B Club action video I watch, I would never... Hey, from his perspective, you sold him out, Zeke. I can't blame him. I can't blame the man. This is young Aaron growing up in Shiganshina. Shigan Shina just has a nice ring to it, no? What are you going are you going to travel through all stages of his life? And I raided him for able to do all of that. Yo, the two brothers rocking the same hair. I raid it. Don't ever call my boy feminine. He rocks that. Just like me. Oh it's Han and Son, look at him. Before he got eaten by his own mom. By Aaron's mom. Huh. Change in plan? Or was the information given to Zeke wrong? Is he crying because he knows what's coming or Ah oh, Zeke is feeling unfair treatment. Fam. He did that for Aaron. No shot. Why does he look like a mature version of Gabby? <gasps> he still think about Zeke. Come on. Come on. What? I thought this is all like a memory thing. Maybe everything is connected. Because we know that from the owl. Because the owl knew the name of Artemin and Mikasa all the way back then. So there has to be some forward-looking memories too that his dad saw from Eren. Dude, did I sign up for a jump scare? Beware! Honestly, I feel like no one knows the correct way to end all of this. Freedom. He's doing his little notes for his future son. Everyone's been through a lot in this journey. Everyone. Like, every. MC material. MC. Look at him. Speak such words as a kid. His dad is like, oh hell yeah, I'm giving you the founding titan, my G. You're my son. He's worthy. He's look at his eyes. His eyes is like his eyes is like thinking, I can't believe I'm going to show everything to my nine-year-old son. I can't believe this. But I will do it because he said the word of an MC. It's so cool to have like this other POV, whereas like from his dad's side, it's like fuck. Am I really going to be doing this? It's a family of models, guys. Look at them. And they won't do shit about it. They won't do nothing. Yeah, they're just like, nah, fuck that, bro. Whatever happens, happens. Let fate decide. He did what he... 
Yo, he looks mad. I don't think he's mad at his dad, no? He must be mad at the situation. This situation is fucked. Yeah, fam, but that's not the point here. The point is we're gonna get fucked. Oh, what the fuck? Yo, he felt his fucking urge to just destroy everything. Oh, so he's the bad boy. No wonder our Aaron's such a bad boy. Oh! Wait, Aaron, where are you going? Aaron, where are you going? Only the attacking titan can see the... F Yo, that's mad. That's actually quite mad. It's such a time and space concept that... Geez, so the attacking titan is actually broken. He's... Wait, are, are, are these guys having a moment right now? I'm... So this is such a mind fuck. It's like, is the past Grisha able to see the current Aaron or feel his presence or feeling when the current Aaron is actually looking past to, you know what I mean? And here we come. He couldn't do it. Wow. When you when this anime tells you that there are no bad guys, there are no bad guys. Like every step along the journey that they always paint someone else as a new bad person, but then every time we look into their past or from their perspective, it's like we had no choice. Or like I didn't want to do it. This anime, bro. This anime just this anime just like, okay, I right, it's nobody's fault. It's nobody's fault, but then we're just gonna suffer anyways. Good one, Ishiyama. But how would he do it though if he gave if he didn't do it here? I'm thinking like what if somehow the current Aaron's memories is able to influence him? It, it, this, they're gonna do some plot twist shit here. What is Aaron going to do? What is Aaron going to do? <gasps> He's doing it! Oh shit! Oh shit! What? Yo, dude, I expected this to happen, but then when it happened, it's like... So, Eren is like the ultimate villain who started everything. This loop! This loop! Yo, this is mad. What a madness. Oh, that was Aaron kissing Historia, no? How crazy is this plot? The attack titan is in a constant loop. So basically this anime is like, whatever the attack titan wants at the end, it will happen. He's able to see him in physical touch. He did always love his firstborn. And Zeke, who never felt like he had a father figure, is just. This is beautiful. And he's telling Zeke to stop Eren. The thing I find so crazy about everything is like, up until this point, everything that we thought we knew about who's the authoritative, who's in position to control everything is all wrong. So it seems like the attack titan, like not necessarily Eren, but if Eren is the last person to inherit the attack titan, then this is where we are in the whole plot of the story. We are looking at the very end of the passing down of the attack titan, which the last person ultimately determines what he wants to do for everything that happened in the past. So like, 
So basically, this future was dictated. Like, when was this future dictated then? Because if the future is able to influence everything in the past in order to reach this future, how did it first originate? That's the mindfuck here. But yo, that's so interesting to see. To be able to see that he got closure with his dad. I'm talking about Zeke. And then Aaron's the one that instigated everything. This loop came out of Aaron to his dad, back to kid Aaron, to adult Aaron. Like, everything we knew so far, it seems like we're just in a dream. Is this even AOT anymore? This feels like Steins Gate to me now. Like, I haven't even seen Steins Gate, but I feel like this is some Steins Gate shit. Anyways, thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys like these reactions, or if you like my channels, like my shorts, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Real quick, real.